Hello everyone, welcome back to Apex Legends here, and today we've actually got a little bit of a different video. So I've recently been inspired by some other content creators in Apex doing a top 10 weapons list, but instead of doing that, I'm actually going to do something a little bit of my own. I'm doing a top 5 best and worst weapons. I plan on doing this list every season or so, right about the rank splits in the middle of every season, just to see if it ever changes, and then I'll do bigger character and gun lists later on every couple of seasons. So with that out of the way, let's get into the criteria. So I'm going to be judging these weapons off of three main things. First one is compatibility and handling. How easy is this gun to use? Does it require crazy attachments, hop-ups, sights? Can it be used on drop? Does it require insane skills? Is it easy to hit shots? How easy is it to use? That's what I'll be grading the first thing on. The second is versatility. How useful is this weapon? Can it be used in multiple ways? Is it just good at close range? Can it be good at long range? Can it do all the ranges with any optic? Is it good with what optic? How, how versatile is the weapon? And this is one of the biggest topics. You'll see some of the best guns are very versatile. Some of the worst guns are not versatile at all. The final thing is just raw power. How strong is this gun? DPS, time to kill, damage per bullet, just stuff like that. And this is also a very important topic. It's not the most important, but come on, how much damage does it do? That's really all I care about. It's clearly obviously the most important thing. So let's get right into it. So at number five, this season, I've never actually been a big fan of the Peacekeeper. I think it's very hard to hit, and the Mastiff is just, it was care package, but now with the Mastiff nerf and the Peacekeeper and the care package, I think the eBay is now my f number five favorite gun in Apex. This gun has never actually got really a chance to shine. It's always been undermined by its predecessors. I mean, the Peacekeeper had insane versatility and range. The Mastiff had damage and speed also range. You hate, it's just outclassed, but when you put a purple shotgun bolt on this thing, or even any shotgun bolt, look how fast I can just melt somebody right here at close range. And you don't even really need great aim too, like you can still be strafing and still hit 35 there on two shots. And I'm still strafing here, and I can still kill this guy with two shots remaining. That's just how good this gun is. It's not great aiming down sights, and since it's only good in close range, and it's maximum damage per hit is still only 63. It's not the strongest shotgun out there. The Peacekeeper is still probably better, but it's an incredibly fun gun that I've actually always preferred, and I'm so glad it's finally getting its chance to shine here in Season 8. So yeah, my number 5 favorite gun in Apex has to be the EVA. I mean, this thing is just good. Alright, moving on now to the number 5 worst. Now this right here is a controversial spot. I know a lot of people are going to hate me for this. It's the Sentinel. Uh, I know. This gun, a lot of people really like to just go for something like this. Quick scoping, I think, whatever that's called. It's just the problem I have, this gun is so slow. The reload speed is so slow. Everything in between the shots is so slow. I mean, sure, the damage per bullet is good and the headshots are great if you can hit them but it's just it's so slow I mean, even the damage honestly isn't that fantastic here we'll get two shield cells here and charge it i'm glad that it is two shield cells now that definitely has improved the gun but with the inclusion of sniper ammo you can't just snipe away and still only 79 damage on the leg and it's, it's hard to hit too, and it's punishing if you miss. Now, I know it can do a lot of good ranges, like, but if you put it two times on this thing here, it, it can do pretty good at mid range. That's, of course, why it takes the number five worst spot, because it's not that bad of a gun. It can be used to get some good damage like this, which is the problem with me is that it doesn't have the close range compatibility that some other snipers can do. It's not that versatile, and it's incredibly slow for my taste. So, next gun here is actually another sniper, the number 4 best. We actually have a tie, the only tie on the list here, between both the triple take and the longbow. I've been playing both of these guns a lot lately, but I just cannot decide which one is better. I mean, the triple take, this thing is a shotgun. Quick scoping with this thing is never any easier. You don't even need to aim down sights. You can still be strafing and just hit fire. This thing is so good. 
Headshot, boom, 138. Instant headshot, two shot. It's so incredibly fast. It's the term of versatile. This can literally be any range. I mean, you can even put a 4x10 on this thing. And it's still great. It's almost no recoil. The inclusion of it automatically having a precision choke. It has nine shots with the gold sniper mag. And then you can just melt people so quickly with it. It honestly feels unfair sometimes that how good the triple take is. It's versatility in a nutshell. You need a gun that can do anything. A strong secondary sniper. Um, a secondary shotgun if you want to nail in your main gun. A mid-range gun. I mean, my favorite optic on this thing has to be the three times. It's so perfect for mid-range. Quick scoping with this. So good. So strong. It's such a fun gun, man. It's definitely gotten a lot better this season. My name is your wide winning has been buffed, but yeah, it's still an incredible gun. Then next in our number four spot has to be the longbow. Another gun had a lot of fun this se with this season. It's just good. I mean, four shots to take someone down. It, this is so good to rack up damage. Um, almost got a 2,500 damage game as Lova a couple weeks ago by just using a golden longbow. It's very generous to hit. It's got 12 shots. It can do close range. Add some great close range moments of this. Hip fire spread is great, it's so easy to get headshots on hip fire. Headshots alone get them like 110 damage. Can melt people way faster than they'll ever realize. Yeah, the, this gun is a beast, and if you're not using it, you need to start using it more. I'm just look at that. I'm still kind of striking around here. I'm not the best at it, I'm still see it's super easy to get headshots. If I can get a headshot pretty easily while I'm scraping while using a sniper, it's good. My favorite part about this gun in season 8 is how quickly its fire rate and recoil has been changed. I mean there's no recoil on this thing here. It'll shoot a couple shots. It's not going up at all. The recoil is insane on this. It's just such a good gun and both of these snipers here I highly recommend you to use. And yeah, those are definitely my tied spot for Number four best. So now the number four worst here. Coming on a downer here, the light ammo guns is the RE45. And I'm kinda of sad to put this here. A couple of seasons ago, back in like season four, when this thing was in the gold loot pool. It was actually really good, but it's just the recoil is really a lot. It's not versatile at all. I mean it can be good on drop, which is the only reason it is number four, which is look at this damage. That's not that good. I mean, I'll put a gold mag on this thing here, and it still only has 25 shots. I feel like it's just so hard to hit anybody with this, and there's no point using this in a really early game. It's easily beaten damage per second by R9, range by R301, range by scout, easier to use, alternator on drop. I mean, there's just no point in picking up this gun. It's not a good gun, and I kind of sad because it actually used to be really good back in Season 4, but it's too weak for my liking. The recoil is really iffy to control, and this thing cannot do long range at all, which is what most guns need in the terms of versatility. So yes, while it can melt some people with the purple mag, really can. I mean, it's time to kill is still like look how slow this time to kill is. Yeah, it's it's too slow. It doesn't do enough damage, and it's just not that good. It's been nerfed a lot. Making it my number four least favorite gun, Napex. So now let's get on to three. Number three here on the favorite gun. It's a very, very close call here, but it's the R99. A gun that I have had so much fun with over the years of Apex. And ever since season one, this, this gun has just been insane. Put some good stuff on it. A barrel stabilizer, a mag, a stock. And this thing is so good. It doesn't need any optics. It doesn't need any great skill. The recoil is super easy to control. It's just, it's so good at melting people. It can do good fire. It can, look at that. It can miss like half my shots and go down from it. it. can do, easily crack someone from long range. Of course, if you have ammo, but it's such a good gun that it's so much fun to use. It's, SMGs, just, SMGs themselves are really fun to use. Look at this. You can even put it two times on that. I can do 70 some damage in mid range an SMG here. That, that just shows you how good the R99 is. So glad it's come back from the care package. I definitely missed it, but it is a fantastic gun, and if 
for some reason you've never used this gun before, just use it because it's still so good. Plus the optics and iron sights are good. I mean, it's one of the, the best guns on drop. It's got versatility, it can, it can do some of that long range stuff, and its damage is unparalleled from any other gun. Definitely making it my number two favorite gun in Apex. And if you're not using it for some reason, use it because this gun is good. Now for number three worst, gonna be coming all the way down here to shotgun ammo again. I think you all know what I'm targeting here. The Mozambique and Ah, uh, Mozambique, I want to love you. You've got four shots recently. I mean, hammer point. A, a golden Mozambique can be feared. I mean, 68 damage there. 34 from afar with a shotgun. It's. I want to like it because it can melt people pretty quickly. With, now with its four shots, it's just... There's so much holding me back. First of all, three shots to crack them. That's, that's too much. And if you aren't a god and you can't aim perfectly, it could be four shots to crack them. Now, this is the reason why it's not the worst or second worst gun in the game, because if you do have, like, a Sentinel on your team, I mean, a Sentinel Mozambique is not bad. It can do good damage. So we'll just crack someone here. And then even from afar here, I can get 102 super easily. It's incredible at getting people while they're down or coming down from the dropship, but... It's just, it just—it doesn't do any damage until they are cracked, and it's so bad. I mean, without hammer point, this thing's terrible. On drop, this is, I think, the worst gun in the game, and I don't think you can argue with me. Look at this thing. Four shots to take someone down. This guy here, full health. It just doesn't do any damage. He's not strafing. It takes two full mags. The reload speed is slow. It doesn't have great iron sights. It's terrible for at firing. It's just not a good gun, and. I want to like it. I know a lot of people are actually really liking it this season, but don't even also don't even try to do long range with them. Yeah, it's a gun that I mean it, it looks good in as I'm just shooting around here with it. It's it's not terrible. It's just I, I think it needs more shots or maybe a faster reload speed and fire rate for it to actually be a half decent gun. So now we're gonna come down back over here to heavy ammo for my number two favorite gun in the game. The Spitfire. Holy cow, this gun has had such a rough transition in Apex. It has gone through so many phases in Apex. Back in Season 1, this thing's fire rate was so insane. It was like the fire rate of the R99, the damage of the R01, and the range of anything. It was so good. But then for the next couple of seasons, this thing was terrible. It was terrible until like Season 6 when Rampart came out. Now, in Season 8, with the improved damage, fire rate, recoil, range, bullet spread, it is one of the best guns in the game. It has that one of the best transitions. I mean, just look at this thing from one. This is a four times. Mind you, I should be having insane recoil. But no, I'm not. I can laser someone at any range. I can take down a whole team and still have six shots left. I mean, is that not a testament to how good this gun is? Was a two times perfect mid range gun. It's so good at melting people. And if you miss your shot, like you're not good at aiming, look at that. It's still incredible. I mean, I, I can be like actually strafing this. I'm not that good at strafing. I mean, look at that. I can still wall strafing, knock someone down with full purple armor, build 19 shots left. It does so much damage. This is the most versatile gun in the game. Probably behind the triple take. It has good damage. It's not the best on drop. I don't love the iron sights. I kind of wish the special skin here, Demon's Claw, had better iron sights. But you don't even need good iron sights, because you can just hit fire. And even with, like, the, what, 35 bullets you have, you can still just do that. If this gun honestly feels stupid sometimes, it is so unbelievably strong. Like, just look at this. I don't need anything. I just need a Spitfire. This is a gun that I'm going to start using more, because I'm just... Every time I use it, I don't regret it, and I always get a high kill game, because this this gun can carry you. It's a fantastic gun. It works even better with Rampart. Uh, switch over to Rampart here. Now I have 63 shots. I can just shoot. Look at that. I can fully die and come back, and I can still keep shooting. It goes through ammo a little bit very quickly, but... Does this not feel broken? This is like the devotion. It's easier to control, better at long range. It's a fantastic gun. 
like many other good guns, you need to be using this because this thing rocks. Not going down to the number two worst, that cool wall jump there, is the P2020. I mean, come on. You all knew this thing was going to be up here. This gun is terrible. Even with hammer point, a golden P2020 here, it's just... It has an even harder time cracking shields than those MD. It's not even that strong once you have cracked shields. I mean, it can do long range, not terribly. I mean, I, I, I can put it two times on this, and that's the only reason I would be some of the things better than those MD, but it's so hard to hit people. It's so slow. I mean, I don't have a good trigger finger. It's just not a good gun. And there isn't much to talk about it. Really, everything that's named about the Mozambique, it's slow, it's terrible on drop, I mean, look at this one, I hit all my shots there, and it's only 165, yeah, it's a terrible gun, and I would like it to see it get buffed, like the Mozambique has gotten buffed, but I still, I just can't not get past the fact that if anyone has armor, you are so useless, and it is the worst gun on drop, worse than the Mozambique, and you get a P2020, you're never like, oh, yes, let's go, P2020, Nice. No, you are always angry and just regretful. So now, before we get on to the number one best gun in the game, let's go through to some honorable mentions here. First, starting with the Devotion here. This gun has always been OP. I remember back in Season 6 when this thing first came out, it was so strong. It did like 17 damage per bullet. The fire rate was so, so high. This gun was stupid. It, it honestly was not fun to play against. But now, it's definitely had a lot of nerfs over the years. Let me switch back to Rampart here. I'm here. I'm back. And it cannot do long range at all. It still has lots of use. I just don't use this gun as much, but I mean, look at that. The only problem is, the recoil on this thing is really intense. So it's really not the easiest to use, and the hip fire also is not that good. Still an incredibly OP gun, and... If you need to use something, like if you're worried about dying in close range fights, Use something like the Devotion, because it can carry there, especially a Rampart, I mean, it's got one of the fastest times to kill with a Trillers Argus. Still very strong, but just not versatile enough for me, and it's not that good on drop, because, like, let's remove all this stuff here. Yeah, I mean, it's good, but it's not that good on drop. It's still an incredibly strong gun, and I still really like this gun. Next honorable mention is, of course, the Peacekeeper. I could easily see someone saying it's their favorite gun, I mean, it just does so much damage. It's, I've had actually a lot of struggles with the Peacekeeper over the years, so it's not my favorite gun, of course. Sure, I mean, damage-wise, yes, versatility, yes, but I don't think it's easy enough to use. Uh, you'll end up, the problem is, I see, I end up doing stuff like this, and I end up hitting for 33, 36, I end up just missing all my shots, and then just hating myself for it, like 40, it's just... A gun that's so hard to hit people with. And that's the problem. It's got versatility. I mean, slap it two times on this thing. Boom. And boom. Yeah, look at that. Just look at that range. Versatile. Not that... Ver I mean, versatile and powerful. Just not that easy to use. Finally, the last honorable mention is the Kraber. This gun is stupid. I mean, the crazy close people have done with this thing. It's so easy to just hit someone with it. So, it's not easy to get headshot, which is what I don't recommend doing, but still incredibly powerful. Only misses this list by A, being a care package weapon. I didn't want any care package weapons on this list, just because, I mean, come on, they're all meant to be OP. And the fact that it is incredibly slow, and it's very unforgiving. Plus, it has zero versatility. You cannot use this thing. I mean, I'm gonna just gonna try to get a cool shot up close, and that's honestly the first time I ever hit anybody up close. Don't even try to do anything besides long range of this gun. And the Prowler, you're probably wondering how does that miss the list? It's there's still good SMGs and the Prowler's not that good. They didn't buff it that much. So now after all those honorable mentions, we can finally get to the best gun in Apex and I think we all know what it is. The R Hero one. This gun is so good. This season, I don't even know why, but just everyone uses this gun. Right, let's get some golden stuff on this here and the best topic the two times. There isn't any doubt about it. I almost use this gun every time. It's just such a laser at long range or mid-range here. I mean, look at any of my videos and clips. It, 
There will be so many of this stuff like that where I just melt someone so quickly. They can even be strafing, they can be jumping. I can steal 70 damage back with like 8 shots. And then, boom, and the receiver, 32, 32, 35. So good. Headshot on this thing, and the receiver, 70 damage. Such a good gun. It has had such a great transition. I've always really enjoyed the RCA one, but this season, I don't know why, it's just gotten so good. I think it's because the dinosaur skin, really. I think I think that's the real thing here, why it's so good. Mm, it's a great gun, and I love it. It literally just fills everything. It fills those three boxes I was talking about. Versatility, yep. I mean, we'll even put a 2x4 on this thing. I can still control the recoil pretty easily. And it's 2x4 is great for single fire. So yeah, it's got versatility. It can do all the ranges. It's got power. It's got 19 damage per bullet and works up close. It's got easy to use. I mean, this thing doesn't require anything. I don't I don't need any of this stuff here. This is all just like a bonus. This gun still works so good. The iron sights are great. It's great at hit fire. It's great at up close. So good at melting people. And it literally is a laser. Uh, if you were to give it any detonation, deserves it. It's this gun, and it deserves to be called the laser. Definitely my favorite gun name, and could probably stay my favorite gun for a while. It's fun, it's powerful, it's versatile, it's easy to use, it's literally everything. There isn't a single downside to this gun. Now let's get on to the more, less unpleasant stuff here. The worst guns in the game. And now, of course, we do a few honorable mentions. Um, the charge rifle. This thing only escaped this list by... It's not terrible. I mean, it does 90 damage if you hit someone with the whole thing. That's strong. I just don't like how it uses two shots. It's so unbelievably slow, and they need to fix this reload. I mean, it is so long. I wouldn't mind if this was a care package weapon. I think they should make it a care package weapon. It's got the ability to be a care package weapon, but it's so slow, and it's just not good enough. And don't even try to use this thing in a close. Like, look at this here. Ugh, gross. Finally, the last honorable mention before we get to the worst gun in the game is, I honestly don't even think there is another one that really is deserving of that last spot, but I think it might have to be the alternator. This gun had such a good comeback, it's just still not that good. I don't love the damage per second on this thing. And it's just, something about this gun feels off. Damage has definitely improved, it's got a good transition, and definitely escapes this bit, but I still think it's on the worst half of all the guns in Apex, and you're not going to see me getting super excited about an alternator anytime soon. It's something everybody used back at the beginning of Season 8, because it got buffed, but it's just, it's not that good, I mean, it's not that good a long range. Just easy to use, I guess. First pile, I guess. Damage, I guess. That's just meh. The most meh gun in Apex. Finally, uh, another very controversial topic here. The worst gun in Apex has to be the L-Star, in my opinion. Just look at this thing. Oh. Sure, I downed someone. But it's so hard to see what I'm doing. I've got like this weird cooldown system, and it's just... It gets in the way so much. It's... Sure, the damage to this thing is incredible, and it feels what it needs to do. It's going up close and melting someone. It can't even do that that well. It's a weird gun that I just don't like to use. It's I don't think it's the worst gun in the game. I just am the worst at using it in the game. It's not fun. It's, it's so whack and crazy. Even with the rampartness of it, I mean, it's, the recoil is so insane. And, it's not even an AR either. Like, try to use this thing at long range. You're gonna hate yourself for doing this. No, this is an SMG, and it should be an SMG. It's just a questionable gun that I've never liked. Even when it back is in the care package, I would never voluntarily pick it up because it's just not a strong gun in any way. I mean, I guess it's not terrible. It's pretty easy to use up close, and it can do good damage, but it's not versatile. This is the least versatile gun. I mean, ugh. It's just... Something about this gun just makes me feel sick. And it's so hard to see when you're only down slight. Only positive I have 
on this gun besides that it, it does have decent damage when you can so I hit the headshot and it's so hard but, and that isn't terrible at close range it's very blinding but that's it anyways I hope you all enjoyed this Come list it was action. actually Let's a really fun list to make and yeah I'm wondering how this list will change in the next couple seasons the wingman I know surprise I bet a lot of people are surprised I didn't make it up there I mean it, it's it's a fine gun I don't hate this gun I'm getting better with it. It's a gun that I've had a rough history of over the years, but it's just, it's not that strong. It's been nerfed a lot, but yeah. Hopefully you all enjoyed this list, and I'll see you all in the next time, and hopefully this was fun to watch, because it was actually a lot of fun to make, and nice to see what I like, and let me know down in the comments, what do you like? What's your favorite gun? What do you not like? Do you agree with this list, or do you disagree? Please, please don't put angry comments down in the comment section saying, well, we didn't put my favorite gun up there. Well, yes, I'm sorry, this is my opinion, and if just because I don't like a gun, it doesn't mean you can't like it, and that you can be justified to your opinion, just come on, this is my opinion here, guys, so don't get too angry at me down in the comments. Anyways, anyway, thanks everybody for watching, I'll see you guys the next time, bye!